Mmm, sunlight. So beautiful. But damn, I'm hungry. If only I was a plant. Or maybe if I was a sea slug. These guys are awesome. Look at it, it looks like a leaf. And what they do is they eat algae. Now what they do, when they eat the algae, they basically absorb the plastid, the chloroplast. And these actually, they absorb them and the genes to keep them. So they can keep the chloroplast and they can pass them on to the offspring. This means, and they're so efficient. This means that they basically, they can survive off water, air and sunlight for they say nine months and maintain a normal nutritional diet. But for those of you who aren't so inclined to your invertebrates here, I present to you a vertebrate, the spotted salamander. Now this is a very similar little situation to the sea slugs. What they do, they eat algae again, and they found that in the embryos, there are little green spots that come up and the spots are chloroplast, the plastid that they get from the algae. And it sits near the mitochondria, which basically means the, uh, Mitochondria is basically sucking the oxygen and the carbohydrates and stuff from the uh, chloroplasts, which are created by photosynthesis. So there we have two animals, two, that eat like plants. Now there are others, but I wanted to keep this short. But for your consideration, and a fun weird one, this beautiful little beast is the oriental hornet. And what this does, this actually uh, conducts electricity through the cuticles in its exoskeleton. So that yellow band it has on its bum highlighted here has microscopic grooves which trap sunlight and as the photons reach the yellow pigment they build up voltage. And what they do, they release this through some silk into their offspring which basically means when they're in the darkness of the night um, it can be important and it helps the development of these hornet pupae. So there we have it ladies and gentlemen. Two uh, animals that eat like plants having had to consume plants first but you know they can pass on to their offspring and one that produces electricity from sunlight using its bum love it catch us next week for the mad mama monday and the fun fact friday